Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and if you're new to 3D printing, especially with an AMS, then you probably notice that those amazing multicolor prints come with a hidden cost. Filament waste from all those color changes, but don't worry, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'll show you one simple setting in Bamboo Studio that will save you time and money. So grab a cold one, sit back, and let's dive in. After releasing my painting masterclass, I decided to put the multiplier feature in Bamboo Studio to the test using the Jurassic Park Jeep model I painted and printed. To find the multiplier feature, make sure you have multiple colors painted on your model, then click on the flushing volumes button here. The flushing volume pop-up will open revealing some additional features and the multiplier field. If we take a quick look at the table, you will see rows and columns that represent amount of flush volume for each pair. So if we take the black row, which is our from color, and match it with our white column, the to color, you will see a significant large number. This is because Bamboo Studio needs to have a significant amount of filament purge to make sure we rid the extruder of all the black so we don't have any bleed into our white. Now for another example, if we take the white from color and compare it to the two black, green, or even red, you will see it's quite a bit less amount of flush filament needed because we're going from a much lighter color like white to a dark color like black, or even red for example. Now what the multiplier feature does is it gives you a range between 0 and 3.0. You can adjust the multiplier to automatically recalculate the flushing amounts by lowering it. So if we change our multiplier from our 1.0 and take note of our from black to our to white, it has a value of 617 flushing volume filament. Now if we lower that down to 0.80 and hit the recalculate button, we now get 493 for our flushing volume amount. This is a significant savings. In the next section of this video, I'll give you two comparisons to the 1.0 multiplier and show you the exact results and how much filament can be saved. I wanted to see how adjusting the settings would impact the final print, so I ran three different tests using the exact same model and filament. Test one, I stuck with the default multiplier setting of 1.0, then I lowered it to 0 0.80 for test number two, and finally down to 0 0.60 for test number three. Let's quickly look over each multiplier's filament overview side by side to compare the amount of filament savings. Starting from the left is our 1.0 default and our total flush, which is basically filament poop and loss is going to be 78.26 grams. In the middle is our 0.8 multiplier and we got 62.67 grams of flush filament. Lastly on our right is our 0.6 multiplier and that's giving us a total of 47.63 grams. Obviously decreasing the amount of filament waste by 20% per level, or 20% less with a 0.80 and 40% with a 0.60. If you didn't notice, there's another big advantage to using the multiplier. You're also saving time. At the default 1.0 multiplier, the total print time is 12 hours and 26 minutes. By lowering it to 0 0.80, the time drops to 11 hours and 51 minutes. And at 0 0.60, it's reduced even further to 11 hours and 24 minutes. That's almost an hour of time savings. Now let's take a closer look at the results. First off, let's ignore the color bleeding on the hood. It seems to be a model coloring issue rather than an actual color bleed. Now focusing on the 0.8 multiplier, there's very minimal red bleeding into the white. You might notice a slight shift in the brightness of the white, but it's barely noticeable. If I handed this print to a friend, they likely wouldn't even notice it. And for prints intended as gifts or to sell, I'd feel completely comfortable using the 0.8 setting. It looks great and doesn't compromise the overall quality. When comparing the 0.6 multiplier to the 1.0, you can start to notice more obvious color bleeding between the sections. However, even with this level of bleed, I still feel comfortable saving 40% in filament and giving these away as gifts. Honestly, most people wouldn't even notice the slight imperfections. That said, I think we're hitting the threshold for the 0 0.60 setting. For flatter models like this Jeep, it's manageable. But for more vertical prints, the color banding might become more noticeable. It's just something to keep in mind if you're working with designs where precise color separation is essential. I want to highlight something important. We're really only seeing issues with the highly contrasting colors, specifically white and red. Interesting enough, the red and black sections are perfectly fine. I've noticed absolutely no color bleeding between those two colors, which is great news. One way to address the bleeding issue between the white and the red would be to use a gray color that matches the Jeep from the movie. This could allow us to lower the multiplier even further. I bet we wouldn't even notice any bleeding at all. Even with a significantly reduced multiplier like 0 0.50 or possibly as low as 0 0.40. That would save on filament waste and improve efficiency without sacrificing the print quality. With that said, if your model doesn't have highly contrasting colors, adjusting the multiplier to a safe range like 0 0.60 or 0 0.70 
can give you peace of mind without sacrificing quality. It's a reliable setting that works well for most projects. All right, we covered a lot today about the multiplier setting and how it can save you time, money, and filament. But this is just one of the many ways to level up your 3D printing skills. If you're just getting started or looking to improve, I've got plenty of beginner-friendly tutorials and tips lined up to help you get the most out of your printer. So please, make sure to subscribe and send me a comment. It truly means the world to me. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy printing.